Good morning. I know for some of you, let's see, it's 10 o'clock. So for some of you, it's probably 10, 11, 12 o'clock. 10, 11, 12, 1, 1 o'clock. You can talk though. Don't be afraid. All right, let me turn the volume down on this. So my lovely friend here goes, uh, she's been in Arizona for quite a minute. And, um, has been going to someone who has been using accents, but has been, I believe, using it wrong because she has a whole mess going on. And usually she can literally go two months, like they'll be grown out to here without even a smidge of a problem. So I know it's something. Oh, maybe it's my Wi-Fi. Sorry, I'm just trying to get this set up. It's on the wrong Wi-Fi, so nothing is refreshing. Have you ever changed your password on your Wi-Fi at home and then you realize all your devices are on your old password and they all have to be reconnected? <laughs> I'm still, this morning I set up another Alexa. <laughs> I thought this one was going to start talking because every single one of them has to be on the new password and they don't work if they're on the old password. And I changed, and it wasn't even that, I changed the network name when I was fixing it. And then I had more problems. What? Hold on. Sorry, guys. I'm just trying to set up my tablet so I can answer any questions you might have. I wish it would let me uh, see what I'm typing when I'm typing it. There we go. Then I can talk to you all and say hello. So anyway, she's been in Arizona. And as you can see, like, it's not, she gets these broken ones, and then she's also got, I keep turning the volume down, um, she'll have them just like pop off, which is super unusual. Like I don't, I don't see that on anyone, and I certainly, ouchie, I certainly don't see it on her because she would, I mean, the longest maybe you've gone is like, what, 10 weeks or something crazy like that? Mm -hmm. So she's gone 10 weeks before, and her nails are just grown out super long, but there's not a smidge of lift. Hi, Delia. Hi, Rhonda. I know it's been a million years. Look how bad my nails are. I was like, I'm not going to do a video until I fix my nails. But I haven't done one in well over a month. And you're a good candidate to show people how to fix a hot mess. Because <laughs> this, my friend, is a hot mess. And... It's, it's just, we got to fix it and make it all better. And then when you go back, you can show her this video and say, this is what you need to do on my client, on my nails, because these are my nails. Because it's all about learning. Um, but you can see that there's lifting here, here. These just completely came off as I was filing them. Um, literally just like, like just flaking right off because it sounds like she's using extra prep products. And one of the tricks of Trinity is that you don't need extra prep products. And to be honest, you use extra prep products and things like this happen. So you don't want to be using a whole bunch of extra primers or anything like that. I'm prepping her nails and cleaning them and going straight to Trinity. It makes a huge difference. This is my 2S, um, 2S bit, my favorite bit. Oh, I've had people ask me to do this angle, actually. Maybe we should try today we'll go in at this angle because someone's like oh I like that angle I did it for one person now people want to see more of them all right we'll do it like this today okay so this is my favorite bit and I as you can hear it it gets faster it's because I do use a foot pedal but you can see the gel right here it's still just flaking off and when I file it it's just going to come right off um it's just not been applied or prepped properly so if you prep it the way I do, and you do it the way I do on this client, it ain't gonna go nowhere. She is a long, she doesn't have oily nail beds, she doesn't have, you know, she doesn't have problems. She doesn't get a lot of lifting or anything. So there shouldn't be any reason that she wouldn't be able to go a month without a problem. The only problem doing it this way is that the focus sometimes is not in the right spot. I will try to keep an eye on it for you all. So one other thing we're going to do at the end of this, she does, she wears just a solid color. Most of my clients do. I know some people are art all the time, but I have a lot of clients that just wear color. 
um, sometimes a little smidge of foil or a little swirl of a, a corner, something like that. But for the most part, pretty solid color. But we're gonna use brand new Pose. This just arrived. Um, it's not even had its official launch yet. Um, but y'all are gonna get to see me apply it today. Rhonda said she needs to get this bit in her next order. If you haven't tried this bit yet, then yes, you need to get it. It is it is a magical bit. Most other prep bits, like a Skyver bit, it because it's so rounded on the end, it chews up the cuticle as I'm trying to do it. Whereas this one, it gets underneath it. Do you see how it just goes right underneath that fold? It's amazing. It's just the best cuticle bit on the planet. I try to always keep a gazillion in stock so that when people stock up, they don't have problems. Now, bits don't last forever. It's important that you guys remember that if you are starting to get um, lifting or really the number one way to know your bit needs changed out is all of clients start complaining that it getting, it's getting hot. And the reason is, is because it's getting smoother. And that smoothness is like buffing the nail at a very high speed. And it kind of like they notice that it gets hot. And when it starts to feel like they're getting hot, I toss the bit and I switch it and they don't feel it with a new bit. So I've noticed that that is a really good sign that your bit's losing the original grit that really helps to prep it well. So again, get under here. All right, that step is done. I'm going to use my nippers. So I have tons and tons of new Stalix nippers in the store. So if you've been wanting a new pair of nippers and um, you like a certain style, there's so many in there now. I'm still adding products in there that I just got in from the Ukraine. So I have these products. These are the Stalix. Um, I have them come in directly from the Ukraine, including the cool slide on uh, files that we gave away, not we, Stalix, gave away at camp in, when are we in August? So it would have been May. Um, if you had gone to camp, you got the Stalix metal file and it had a slide on file, which is super cool. Um, I need to bring them over here. I should start using them more. I haven't gotten to use mine very much yet. Um, I played with it and then of course I put it like somewhere else other than my working desk and then it doesn't get seen. <laughs> Hello, Tiffany. Hello, Gail. Um, so anyway, those files that you got in your swag bag at camp, the replacement um, sleeves, I do have online now, so you can get those from me. But it's nice because you just pop the sleeve off, toss it, and you can, if you uh, autoclave or something like that, um, you can always have a spare and autoclave it, or you can spray it with your disinfectant. Pop a new sleeve on it, and off you go with your next client. So they're pretty, pretty spectacular. But I've been trying to add lots of new products that have come in for you onto the website. Got to be careful here. She already came in with a bit of an owie. We don't want to get near that. Owie, owie. I need new nippers. Me too. I understand that. So I just tossed some of mine. So if I feel like when you go to nip, it pulls the skin instead of a clean cut, you need new nippers. So I just grabbed um, these brand new style that just came in. I haven't been using it much yet because it's kind of big and I'm not sure it's the right shape for me. But they've been super popular. So these must have been ones that people were like way waiting for. These are the expert ones. And I can feel the difference in the metal a little bit between the expert and the smart. These are the smart ones. They're a little bit less expensive than the expert ones that are a little heavier duty. But they're longer than the ones that I'm used to. So I've got to figure out if I'm going to get used to that or if I'm going to go for the shorter, shorter ones next time. But we do have lots and lots of different styles now. So... Um, if you go into the new products or just into the Stalix section, you'll find all of those. I can't remember what states they are, but there's some poor people in other states that can't clean up cuticles. Isn't that sad? You'd go and do all of this and just not be able to clean it up. Gotta clean it up. I mean, what would you do with all this if you couldn't clean it up?
Delia said she likes the jaw and hers to be a little smaller. So there's different lengths. When you see a five millimeter, seven millimeter, that's this length. So if you're a new nail tech and you're not sure what that means, that's the length of this part, the cutting part. Um, so a three millimeter is gonna have a very short cutting part, a five, seven, there's even nine. And when you get into toes, then you're talking 11 and 16. Those are all millimeter. Those are all lengths of the cutting part. Um, these ones are five, yeah, these are five millimeter. It says it right on the side, um, which is just what I'm used to. So I, I tried these ones when they first came out and I love them. And so now it's like just, you know, now it's what I'm used to. So switching would be tough, but um, I wanted to try some of the new ones that they just launched because it's what I do. I try it out and then tell you what I think, right? I don't know why anyone would care what I think, but I do it anyway. <laughs> All right. Huh? <laughs> I'm so funny. All right, I'm just prepping the edges of my file. That's doing this. If you're a newbie, make sure you're taking an old file. This is an old file or a different kind of file that I don't use. And really slide from one side to the other to remove everything along the edges. So you can see on this file, you can see where it's gone on the edge. And that really makes a difference for um, having a good long, uh, or I'm sorry, it makes a difference for not cutting your clients. All right, so as I file this, I'm just going to lightly file, oh, it looks like most of it off because it's just flaking off. And when you do a 30-day manicure, it's a very thin application anyway, usually. Um, so there shouldn't be a ton there, but it definitely is stuff. Oh, Kale's so funny. I could watch you nip cuticles all day. Is that like the pimple popper? <laughs> I love that show. <laughs> I can't do it. I squeal and I look away. So I'm like, ooh, no, I can't do it. I can't. I mean, some people like to watch. I mean, I don't mind doing it. And I'm sure my husband would hate me for saying this. I really like getting at his on its back. It's fun. You know, you got your nails, right? So you really can get in there. Oh, he hates it so much. <laughs> He's like, ow, ow, ow. I'm like, stop being such a baby. <laughs> I know. And then, you know, I, I'm like, oh, maybe you need to do mine. So the whole scratch my back. And he's like, you have nothing here. I'm like, no, keep looking. And he's scratching at me. He's like, you just want your back scratch. I'm like, maybe. <laughs> All right, so this is really important. I know I prepped with my bit, but I'm also going in and prepping with this file. These files are shaped rounded for a reason. You want to really get in there and make sure, there's a little bit of a hanger, get the hanger off there. You want to make sure that everything is prepped really well all the way up to the cuticle. And as you're doing this, you're also pushing the cuticle back again, which means that you're going to get more time before the nail is looking like there's grow out. So you don't, you want to see a client in a week, not look like she has any grow out, um, which for 99% of clients is true. I have one client who her, I don't know what's going on in the last year. Her nails have started growing like crazy. Like she'll grow double what everybody she else does. No, <laughs> but she will grow double. My husband asked to watch the pimple popper today and I'm like, no. I can't, I just can't do it. It's like, you know, when there's a scene on a movie where you just have to look away, it's like that every time. So I'm like, this is a lot of looking away. I mean, I guess it could be on in the background, but I think for a lot of people, the whole purpose of that show is to see the craziness in the background. Yeah. Yeah, so my girl doesn't do any of that. Yeah, it's really important. If you're not prepping <clears throat> properly, your product is not going to stay. So this step is a very essential step. And you're already needing, you already need to shape the nail, right? Because ideally you don't have brokens like this. You've got them all like, like this nail and you need to go through and you need to bevel and shape what you have. So you're already holding your files. So take the extra two seconds and do this and make sure that you're really prepping that cuticle well because once you cover this with gel, ideally you're not touching it again. So you're not gonna be constantly doing it to the same part of the nail because you're only gonna be hitting the new growth 
because as the old growth grows out, it's going to be covered in gel. So when you're doing this, you're really focusing on the new growth of the nail. Then once it's covered with gel, you're not doing it again. So it's not like you're constantly getting on that nail. So you're not going to have damage as it grows out, but it needs to be prepped for this, for the application of the product for the first time. Otherwise, you're going to end up with nails that don't stay. Something under your nail and... So this one looks pretty good, but again, I'm, I almost want to remove everything from the nail bed because I know that it's not prepped well and I don't want her to end up with issues later because with so many of them coming off already, it, you know, if I, if I can get rid of some of the product very easily, I'm going to so that I can apply it the way I need to. So I'm just, I'm filing on this side of the product and almost removing it like a fill or um, like a lift or blending it like a tip, I guess you would say. All right, shape on that's pretty good. But I, as you do it, if you start seeing more flake off, and when I say flake off, you're gonna see white around where you're filing. If it looks white, it's not attached. So be very uh, fastidious about paying attention to that. All right, prepped. And over my client's head, I have a clock. And you always wanna be checking your clock to see what your time is, your timing. Do I need to be working a little bit faster? Am I on time? Am I where I'm supposed to be? I always like to get this whole process done and be ready to put product on at about half past the hour, which I'm a minute shy, so I'm really close. So by the time I finish this hand, it's gonna be maybe a minute past where I want to be, so that's really good. So always keep an eye on your clock, because otherwise you run late with other clients and it really helps to know what's going on, you know? It looks like she tips. Yes, she glues tips on. Mm -mm. No, it was sculpting. Okay. Yeah, that actually fits really good. Good, well, that's a good sign. So she's got that down. Um, but I filed it all the way down to where it's just the tip on the extension, so I don't need to re-extend it. But we're going to get rid of everything on the nail bed so that we can give you a fresh application. Again, going through, really prepping this cuticle. You're a bit prepped under the cuticle, but you need to get everything really good and prepped. This is what's going to give you the longevity. This is going to, what's going to be what makes it so your clients can go two months without a problem. All right, so this one has had nothing on it when she came in. We're going to make sure she... We're gonna sculpt these ones out. So it looks like we're sculpting four nails. So when, depending on how you guys price, um, that's almost half of a full set. So you just have to figure out how you're gonna price that per repair. I always include one for free in case someone has a random weird broken one. It just It's so rare to begin with. All right, you wanna make sure everything looks completely prepped. If you can't tell, give it a little dust, make sure everything is completely prepped. She got something hanging out there. All right, and now this one. Going again around the cuticle, really good. Give it a good scrub. This is a 180 file. And I use the 100 or 180. It just depends on how coarse your files are. And I believe I'm using the 100 side of this. So it's not a problem if you're not, you know, you don't want to be heavy handed. You want to be pretty light on it. So this one, the tip just popped right off. So I'm going to re-sculpt that. All right, checking for anything else hanging out, sticking up, not where it's supposed to be. So 
Today is my mama's birthday. She got a new knee for her birthday is what we keep saying. Congratulations, you got a new knee for your birthday. Okay, again, giving it a really good scrub. This is, if you want your nails to stay a long time, do the scrub. If you don't care and your nails only need to stay two weeks, I guess you don't need to worry about it. But my clients like to be able to go a month. I like them to be able to go a month because if I'm traveling and they need to push it, I don't want to be stressing that when they see them again, they're going to be a mess. Good to see you work on twisted nails like mine. <laughs> That's what Sue said. It's funny. Yeah, she's got a little, it's a little wonky. So since I'm forming everything else, I can stick a form on this and fill in this side. My nail is such a mess. I'm so sorry fill in this side region where she's missing nail, um, and we can make all that look a little more even. Okay, give this a really, really good thing too. Oh, Michelle's birthday too. Well, happy birthday, you and my mom. All right, so I'm giving this a really good scrub. It's very important that when you scrub the nail, as you can see, I've only got the wipe right on the nail and I'm scrubbing right in the nail grooves right on top of the nail. If you go and take your wipe and you're doing this, you're going to be pulling stuff all over the nail. <coughs> Excuse me. You're going to be pulling um, oils from the from the finger onto the nail and you certainly don't want to do that. So make sure you give it a really good wipe. Speaking of wipes, my doodad is out. I have this at my desk. So if you, um, I also sell them on my website because they're one of my favorite things. Um, just push your wipes right down in there and then it pops up, which is so handy. So if you're looking for something fun for your desk and you're shopping on my website, the wipe dispenser is a lovely little treat. All right, so let's put some forms on so many fingers. Sorry. That's not your fault. I mean, I... If it wasn't a if it was a client that I didn't really know that it hadn't been coming to me for years that I didn't know could go almost three months and not have a problem, but okay, and I'm just going to squeeze on the sides, make sure the shape is good. These are protab forms. You can use any forms that you wish, obviously. Give it a little roll. Stick it underneath the corners and pop it up. And you can adjust these sides to make sure that the sides here are smooth and flush. And then what I love about these forms is you can close them. I got to design these. And when I was doing it, I'm like, I want one side to be longer than the other. And they were like, I don't understand. And I said, just trust me. So that it's so that you can close it. Well, back in the day, I need that other hand now. Back in the day, um, when we were using old UV lamps, the heat from the UV lamp would pop open your forms and it'd be driving me crazy. So that was why I did it. Now we have LED lights, so it doesn't happen all the time um, that they pop open if you don't have one that does that, but it still happens. And So I just cut this out very willy-nilly, not anything fancy, but I want to get this form all the way up to the side because that's where I'm going to pull this nail out, kind of make it a little bit straighter for her. So that's really where I'm not really concentrating on that side so much as I am trying to make sure that I can put a layer of gel all the way up the side wall there. My signal isn't good in the UK. Will this go on YouTube? It will go on YouTube um, tonight, if I remember. <laughs> I'll try to remember to do it tonight so it'll go up. But yes, it will be on YouTube. So you'll be able to find it. I haven't, I've been ignoring my YouTubers and it's... I haven't done a video in so long. Well, I got to have a delightful trip, which I haven't posted almost any pictures from because I've been redesigning our house instead. But, which is really fun, by the way. If I could, like, be a house designer and design floor, floor plans and stuff, I probably would. I could. Sp I spent three days redoing my house on there, and then... Um, and now that it's done, so it's just, it's like, now I'm just adding all the 3D elements because I figured out that I can do a virtual reality. So there's a show now on, I'm so all over the place, sorry. There's a show now on Amazon Prime 
called, I can't remember what it's called, your home, I can't, I, I could guess, but I'd be wrong, I'm sure, so it's a, it's a show, Canadian, obviously, it's an HGTV, I'm sure, um, and they, um, I'm going to use the wipe, I always just flip it over and use the other side as a cleansing for my brush, um, anyway, so you can, with this show, they take someone's house that totally needs redone and they have two designers and they give them virtual reality glasses and they've redesigned their house using virtual reality. So you get to like stand in your house, which is just a really fun concept, right? And then they get to choose which one they want and then they redo the house. And we're talking about like major hundred thousand dollar construction projects. And, um, I was like, man, it'd be so great for to be able to show everybody what I see in my head when I'm looking at my house after I designed it. And I looked, and the program I use does have virtual reality. Uh-oh, hold on. Oops. Sorry. I had, let's try that again. Go ahead. on the In the light, please. Oh, we had a chat on Messenger while I was waiting at the airport here in the UK. Oh, right. Yes, I remember our little stopover on the way to Croatia. Okay, so for the new extensions, what I like to do is one of two things. If they're gonna be really long, I would use my Trinity as a base coat like this. So I'm gonna do two different ways so I can show you the two ways that I do it. Hers are kind of on in the middle, on the verge of being long enough to do it one way, but not too long that I need to do it that way. So it's kind of a little bit tricky. So. With one way, you need to do a base coat of a bonding gel. And I'll just use Trinity because it's got bond in it. The other way, you're going to use Trinity to create your arch. So it's one step less to do it this way. And if they're wearing their nails relatively short, I can get away with it. And if they don't have big nail beds, if they have bigger nail beds or they're going too long, this is a lot harder to do with Trinity because it self-levels so quickly. But you want to create a triangle and then you're going to drop a bit of an arch right in the middle of it and pull out to create your extension. So the problem with Trinity with this technique is that it flattens so easy that you lose the shaping or it starts to get runny. Go ahead and freeze that. We're going to go two, three seconds. So what I like to use a lot of the time if they have a bigger nail bed or their nails are a little bit longer so that I'm not fighting with Trinity to get my arch in there because if you look at it from the side, let's see if I can get a good view. If you look at it from the side, you can see that I did get a little bit of an arch in there and that's going to be enough. But I'm, I've am i done this enough times to know how much time I have and I don't have a lot of time. You can look at it from the side here. It's not very set yet and you can see that it already started to run. We're gonna go two more seconds in the light. So it's it's really just a battle of, do I wanna mess with how fast Trinity runs? Am I applying so much product because of the length or the width of their nail bed that it'd be easier just to switch to a thicker gel? So I like natural pink. Natural pink's the one that I used from Accents for almost 20 years. It's a thicker viscosity gel, but it makes it a lot easier to roll off and position in place for this part of the extension. There's a little bubble in there, get that out. But as you can see, it's not running all over, but it's still very easy to move around. Now, if you don't have um, a UV LED lamp, you only have a UV lamp, most people have a dual uh, UV or LED lamp, so you can use this natural pink. Um, but if you don't, then you'll need to stick with like balance, which is a thicker version of the performance gel. Not quite as smooth to use as natural. There's nothing really that compares with the viscosity and how natural works. But I can really sculpt in a beautiful extension and it's not going to move on me. It's just going to stay which is really, really nice, but you see how smooth it is. It doesn't, it kind of smooths out without being runny. So we're gonna go in for a few seconds. This one can get hotter. So you just wanna go two to three seconds and then come out, come out. And then I'm gonna continue on with the next nail. Cause every time she goes in, that's gonna continue curing. So I'm gonna have another bit of a cure here when I do this one. So again, I'm pillowing it around the cuticle. 
and float it down the nail. Now these, these are gonna be a two-step nail. Why have I not gone straight back to those? Because I want them to cure a little bit more as I continue to do other nails. So with the shape of this being how it is, I do wanna add a little bit more right in the center to create a little bit better shape for her. And with Trinity, you can just wiggle it on and there it goes. Go ahead in two seconds. One, two, out. Oh, Charlene says she's so happy to catch me live. Good to see you, Charlene. I think I just sent you a box the other day. I saw your name and thought, oh, I get to see her at camp in October. Yay. Right? I believe I do. I'm pretty sure. Camp is coming up. We're two months away, which means it starts being my crunch time. It's when I start bugging all the companies, send us stuff. And making sure all the educators have their classes in, so I've been bugging them. So a lot of computer work to do. Again, once I apply my smooth layers, she has a little bit of a flatness to her nail. So I'm just going to string in a little bit of extra. And I don't do this typically with just a regular 30-day manicure, but it's because it just, as I apply the product, usually there ends up being a little bit of that shaping just because of how I file. So... I had to switch to natural pink due to the heat. Trinity moved way too fast to keep up. So Donette's talking about the heat of her salon, which is very true. And a lot of people don't realize that the warmer your salon is, the runnier your gel is going to get. So if you keep your salon hot, using Trinity is like water and it is really hard. So switching to something that's a little bit less viscous, like, uh, like natural, it won't go so fast, which is... I understand that. Okay, so now these have set up enough as I've been curing everything else that I can go in and do my cuticle layer just like I would the fill layer, but now I've got the extension in there, right? Now, if it's short enough, a lot of times I can do this just right so I don't have to do anything but file the edges. We'll see how much filing I have to do on this. Um, obviously, the free edge and the end, but Depending on how smooth I get it, I won't have to do a ton of filing, which is ideal. Why? Filing takes time times money. Okay, we're going to flash that a few seconds. Okay. And flashing is one, two, out. Okay? That's what you have to teach your clients. And if they do that, they're not going to get a major heat spike, which is helpful. And with natural, it does get hotter in a different way. But if it had a little, like, did it get too hot for you? Or it was, because no. we sat out long enough. So letting it, as I was working on the next nail, it was cooling. And then you go in just for a few seconds. It's not enough time for it to continue to speed up and get hot again. So it's just learning your gel and learning where the heat spike is and how it works. And it'll make life easier. All right, that hand is done. I'm going to go to this hand. So I'm not going to do two steps for this one. I'm still going to do one step. I'm just going to pull the gel off the side of the nail. So as you can see here, I'm just building a side wall. It doesn't have to be perfect, but I'm trying to make sure I'm getting it on there as much as I I'm looking to. Now I can take my brush and if I go up and down, I can typically drop some off right in the middle and then smooth out the front. And this just takes practice, guys. It's a long time of doing nails. <laughs> okay, come out. That other hand can stay in now. This one, you can look at her nail and you can see how flat it is. Let's see if I can focus on the right spot. You can see how flat it is all by itself. So because of that, and because it's a bigger nail bed, I'm gonna go ahead and do this one, hello, in two steps. So I'm gonna do an arch portion and just pull it down over the free edge. Now, when she comes back in, all that shaping is gonna be there. So you're not gonna, she's not gonna have to have that shaping done again. This is just because they were you're basically starting from scratch because they were pretty jacked up. <laughs> but we will fix them and they will be beautiful. And then hopefully when she goes back to the other tech, they can watch this and see 
the steps that I use, so I'm going to be lazy and just, one of the reasons I do it with Trinity is because she doesn't have um, a lot of length, and I know if I'm fast enough, I don't have to do two steps like with natural. Um, but my salon's not too hot, so it's not too, too runny. And I've been doing this long enough that I'm not chasing it down too often. But much longer of a nail, you definitely would want to switch to using natural because you need a thicker viscosity to work with. Same here. Build an arch. Why am I not going all the way around the cuticle? Is there a reason for it? Absolutely. If I cover the entire nail bed portion, it has all of that area just to smooth itself out and flatten out. And I don't want it flat right now. The whole purpose is to build my extension and to get a little bit of an arch in there. So in order to do that, I need to not let it flatten too much. And if you cover the entire nail bed portion, it's gonna flatten. And all that work you did to try to build that up is just gonna go straight down. So this is set up long enough with two. Do you see I can just touch it that I can go ahead and do the second one? Because it's had two flash cures now, right? Because it had the one when I did it and it had the one for the pinky. So I typically, if you can get two flash cures in before you do the second step, it's gonna be set up enough that you can do this step without having to uh, do like a full cure or anything like that. So give it another few seconds and then we'll go straight to Pinky. So I'm pushing around the cuticle. Push, push, push. This pinky's not quite set up as much on the side, so it moved a little bit over here. So I'm going to make sure that I have enough to cover that spot that I messed with. We'll file it and fix it. So this is taking me a lot longer than it usually would just because of I'm talking. <laughs> All right. Again, this is a flat nail, and I'm having to do more steps, obviously, than you would. This is more like a full set than it is a fill. Um, but she's just doing a solid color, and my next one's pedicure, so be fine. No problem. Okay, we're going to flash that. I'm gonna flash it twice. So I'm gonna take the other hand while you just let that cool for a second. You can let it cool for a second. I wanna flash it twice because I'm gonna put more gel right on top of it and I want that to be set up enough to do that. So this one's completely cured. So you can remove tacky and file all of them, but that would take a lot of time because this nail's perfect and this nail's perfect. So what I like to do is tuck and try not to get a lot of dust on them. So I'm looking at this to see how much of this I'm gonna to have to file. If I need to file the whole nail, I'm gonna remove the tacky. If I think I can get away with not filing the whole nail, I'm gonna leave the tacky because you can't, the rule of gel, you can't apply gel to a surface that's not either tacky or roughed up. So if I remove the tacky, I have to file the entire surface of the nail. If I don't remove the tacky, then the next layer of gel will stick fine because it's either sticking to a filed surface that I filed or a tacky layer. So I'm just working on her shape a little bit to make sure that it's the shape I'm going for. Make sure that this isn't more rounded here than I want. And the length is about right. Okay, and just dust. Pretty good, look down the barrel. If I feel like I need to thin it at all, I'm gonna glide my file over the top. Okay. Then go to the next one, tuck them. So all of these ones don't get so dusty. That's why I do that. So over here, we got all the way to the side and it ran a little bit. So you really need to push this out and see if you can get underneath this. Now, if it's so far against the cuticle that you can't seem to get your file in there properly, then you can use your bit. So for example, if I got all the way over here and I feel like I can't quite get this as smooth as I want, I'm gonna use my bit 
to smooth that out. Do you see how that just smoothed it right there? Now it's perfect. So use your bit to your advantage when you need to. It's one of the reasons I keep that bit on my e-file throughout the whole service because I might need it for something like that at some point. So the rest of the nail, when I look down the barrel, is smooth and good. I just want to get these corners where there was just a little bit extra and the shaping's not quite what I want. Okay, that. The dust on the nail isn't really a concern because it gets absorbed by the next layer of gel, which is your color. So you typically are not going to end up with like a bumpy nail or anything. It's just gel into gel. So I used to be very worried and think, oh, I'm not going to be able to make it work. And it actually works just fine. All right, so I'm just going to do this quick thumb. I should have done this before I did the second one. Now I'm going to have to wait for a second. Wow, well, this cures. So Trinity needs 30 seconds to cure, but she's going to need to flash it first. So you don't ever want your clients to go in and try to just do the full 30 seconds right after you apply the product. Oh, sorry, I'm a little high. Um, you want to have them go in, flash it for three seconds, come out, give it a few seconds, and then they can finish their cure because that flashing is what prevents the heat they go in and just keep it in, typically they're going to get a heat spike. It's probably my next one, so y'all can just say hi. All right, so you're going to go in for a few seconds. Okay, go in for two. So one, two, and then out. And then we're going to give it a few seconds, and then she's going to have to cure the whole hand. So what I'm going to do in the meantime is start polishing this hand. So this is the new um, pose color. just came out. And um, you can come sit if you want. Uh, this is the new pose color. It's a really pretty rose. I will do a video. Um, it does look a little bit darker than it is in the video, just so you know. Um, I will do a... a a video showing the new colors and some comparisons to current colors and things like that. Um, probably maybe Friday. So you can keep an eye out for that. Um, the official launch for those is September 1st. But we just got them in, which is exciting. So if you have pre-ordered should be getting them soon. So I'm just going to polish this on. Accents has been um, updating their brushes a little bit. So it is slightly different brush than some of the original um, Accents colors. So if you haven't used Luxio in a while, you'll notice that the brush is slightly different. They test the brushes a lot and decide which gives the best look. And as you can see, when it fans out, it actually has a more of a rounded shape to it. So as you go around most rounded cuticles, you have less of a chance of creating um, uh, or getting it into the cuticle or anything like that. So they've updated the, the brush. All right, did that hand get a full cure? Go ahead and put it in. Love this color, what is it? This is the brand new pose. So this is a brand new color. Um, it's from the After Show collection. There are, we, I think we have 100 mini kits. Once they're gone, they're gone. So if you wanted to try all the colors in the collection, there's a new taupe that's really nice, a new red. And like I said, I'll do a comparison video because it's always good to be like, well, I have one that I feel like looks just like that. So what I do is I get them side by side so you can see how different they are um, compared to some of our other colors. I'm going to put that in. But um, here's my little swatches. But here they are. So I will show you guys again, I think in a video on Friday. This one's a lighter version, more taupey version to vert. So... Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and um, sign off and finish her up real quick because my other one just got here, and that way I'll work a little bit faster. But I'm basically going to do the same thing on these that I did before. I'm just going to...
have her tuck that hand so I don't get dust on all the nails. And this is that one that we just extended out on the side so that she gets a little bit better of a shape. And what's nice is that when you have the dust on there, you can really see what your shape is. So there we go. Now it's more of a correct shape on her. So just going to taper it down a little bit and dust and go to the next. Oh, I forgot a step on here too. All right. I'm going to sign off because I am getting too distracted. All right. We'll talk to you guys later. If you have any questions, let me know. Bye.